Have you ever felt like God is trying to get your attention? Maybe you've experienced a season of unexpected change, a nagging feeling you're off course, or a deep yearning for something more. These could all be signs that God has a wake-up call in store for you. But how do you decipher his message? In this video, we'll explore seven ways to decode God's wake-up calls from a Christian perspective. Drawing inspiration from the wisdom of Padre Pio, let us know in the comments below. Have you ever experienced a wake-up call from God? How did you recognize it? Have you ever set the coffee pot the night before, only to wake up to a cold and empty mug? Frustrating, right, sometimes, life feels a bit like that cold cup of coffee. We go through the motions, but there's a nagging sense that something's missing. As Christians, we believe God desires a deep and meaningful relationship with us. He doesn't want us to sleepwalk through life, but to be actively engaged in his plan. So, how does he get our attention when we've strayed or become complacent often? It's through wake-up calls. In the life of Padre Pio, a beloved Catholic priest known for his piety and miracles, we see a beautiful example of someone who was keenly attuned to God's voice today. We'll draw inspiration from Padre Pio's teachings and explore seven ways to recognize and respond to God's wake-up calls in your own life. By opening your heart and mind, you can use these insights to grow closer to Him and fulfill the purpose He has for you. Way 1. Disruptions in your routine Life can settle into a comfortable rhythm. We get used to our daily routines, our social circles, and our overall way of being. But Saint Pio, known for his deep trust in God's providence, reminds us, God often breaks our routines to get our attention. Have you recently experienced an unexpected change in your plans? Perhaps a job loss, a health scare, or a broken relationship? These disruptions, while often unwelcome, could be God's way of nudging you in a new direction. The Bible tells us in Proverbs 3 to 5 to 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. Difficulties can be opportunities to surrender control and step into something God has planned for you. Ask yourself, is there an area of my life that feels stagnant? Could this disruption be an invitation to trust God more fully? Way 2, A Season of Unanswered Prayers Sometimes, our prayers seem to go unanswered. This can be incredibly discouraging, leaving us feeling unheard and distant from God Padre Pio, however, offered this encouragement. Prayer is a conversation, not a transaction. Just because you don't see immediate results doesn't mean God isn't listening. The Bible assures us in Hebrews 11 to 6, and without faith, it is impossible to please him. For whoever draws near to God must believe that he is and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Perhaps God is using this season to refine your faith, to strengthen your dependence on him, or to prepare you for something even better than you could imagine. When prayers seem unanswered, cling to the truth of God's faithfulness and his perfect timing. Reflect, has there been a prayer request that seems unanswered? How can you cultivate deeper trust in God's timing during this season? Way 3, a renewed interest in scripture or prayer. Have you ever felt a sudden urge to dust off your Bible or a yearning to return to a consistent prayer life? These renewed desires could be a nudge from the Holy Spirit. Saint Pio, known for his fervent devotion to prayer, believed through prayer. We open our hearts to God's will and receive the strength to carry it out. Perhaps you've been neglecting your spiritual disciplines, and God is gently prompting you to reconnect with Him. 
The Bible reminds us in James 4 to 8, draw near to God, and he will draw near to you, as you spend time in prayer and scripture. Listen for the whispers of God's guidance, and allow him to transform your heart and mind. Consider, has there been a renewed interest in prayer or scripture lately? How can you create space in your life to deepen your connection with God? Way 4. A Persistent Feeling of Discontent Do you ever experience a nagging sense of discontent, even when things seem outwardly good? This could be God's way of showing you that something deeper is missing in your life. Saint Pio, who emphasized living a life purpose-driven by God, said, True happiness is found in living according to God's will. Perhaps you're stuck in a job that doesn't fulfill you, or a relationship that's unhealthy. This discontent could be a wake-up call to reevaluate your priorities and seek God's direction for your life. The Bible instructs us in Jeremiah 29-13, You will seek me and find me. When you seek me with all your heart, don't ignore that nagging feeling. Seek God through prayer and reflection, and allow him to guide you towards a life of true purpose and fulfillment. Ask yourself, is there an area of your life where you feel a sense of discontent? How can you use this feeling to draw closer to God and discover his will for you? Way 5. Doors opening and closing unexpectedly. Life is full of surprises, opportunities you thought were certain can vanish, while doors you never imagined open unexpectedly. Saint Pio who trusted in God's providence even during hardship, reminds us, sometimes what we perceive as setbacks are actually God's redirection. Have you recently experienced a disappointment or a missed opportunity? Don't be discouraged. These unexpected closings could be making way for something even better that God has planned. The Bible tells us in Romans 8.28, and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Trust that God is directing your steps, even when the path seems unclear. Seek guidance through prayer and ask him to reveal his purpose in the unexpected twists and turns of your life. Consider, have you experienced a recent disappointment or missed opportunity? How can you trust that God is still guiding you even when the path seems unclear. Way 6. A burning desire to help others. Have you ever felt a compelling urge to serve others, to use your gifts and talents to make a difference in the world? This could be the Holy Spirit prompting you to step into a new area of ministry. Saint Pio, known for his compassion and dedication to serving others, sad. Love for God is best shown through love for others. Perhaps you've been feeling called to volunteer, mentor someone in need, or use your skills to bless others. Don't ignore this nudge. The Bible instructs us in Galatians 5.13, for you were called to freedom. Brothers, only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another, this desire to help others could be a wake-up call to explore new ways to live out your faith and glorify God. Ask yourself, have you felt a recent urge to help others in a particular way? How can you use your gifts and talents to serve God and those around you? Way 7. A renewed sense of wonder and or in creation. Have you ever found yourself captivated by a stunning sunset? a majestic mountain range, or the intricate details of a flower. These moments of awe and wonder in creation could be God's way of reminding you of his majesty and love. Saint Pio, who found solace in the beauty of nature, said, through creation, we can catch a glimpse of God's infinite love and power. Perhaps you've been feeling disconnected from God, lost in the daily grind. A renewed sense of wonder in creation could be a wake-up call to reconnect with him through the beauty that surrounds you. The Bible tells us in Psalm 19-1, the heavens declare the glory of God. 
The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Take time to appreciate the world around you. These moments of awe can be a powerful reminder of God's presence and a doorway to deeper worship and connection. Consider, have you recently experienced a moment of wonder or in nature? How can you use these encounters to praise God and deepen your connection with Him? Life can get busy, and sometimes, we miss the subtle nudges God sends our way. By being aware of these wake-up calls and responding with an open heart, we can grow closer to Him and discover the amazing things He has planned for us. Remember, God is always speaking. Don't wait for a lightning bolt, seek Him through prayer, immerse yourself in Scripture, and notice the beauty of the world around you. We'd love for you to be part of our faith journey. Subscribe to our channel to join a supportive community of believers exploring the richness of the Christian life. Hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video, like this video if you found it helpful, and share it with someone who might be looking for guidance. We read and respond to all comments, so feel free to share your thoughts and experiences in the comment section below. Be respectful, kind and loving in your interactions. After all, knowing Christ is about living like Christ. Think before you click. And remember, there's power in silence if something doesn't resonate with you. May the blessing of God be with you all, always. Let us know in the comments where you're joining us from. How did you find our channel? And what part of this discussion resonated most with you? We'd love to hear from you. Additionally, if you feel called to support our monthly fundraising efforts for charitable works, you can check out the super thanks button next to the like and share buttons, or get in touch with us directly through email.